Assalamu alaikum to all the educationists who are watching me. As I told you in my previous video regarding example lesson plan, so I keep my words. Here is my lesson plan. Watch till it ends and don't forget to subscribe my channel. First of all, you have to mention the following elements. The subject you are going to teach. Great. Topic. My topic is ascending and descending order. Topic duration. The estimated time. How long will it take to complete? Lesson number. For example, four. And teacher's name. So the first step of your lesson plan is lesson objectives or the learning objectives. The general objective. Students will know new vocabulary words like least, greatest, increasing, decreasing, ordering, down to up and up to down. Specific objectives are at the end of this topic, students will be able to define ascending and descending order. Students will be able to arrange numbers sequentially up to down and down to up. So these are the lesson objectives of my topic, ascending and descending order. Second step, materials and equipment. In order to complete this topic, teacher will require the following materials. As I said in my previous video, in this step, you have to mention all the related activities. Through these activities, teacher can make the process of learning easy and interesting. Activity one, number one, board activity. How to execute this activity? Teacher will write numbers from 1 to 20 on small piece of paper or cards and distribute them among the children. Our students come one by one and paste them on a board in order of backward and forward. Activity number 2. Apple threading and arranging of numbers in ascending and descending order. How to execute? Teacher will cut apple shapes from the felt. After that, number the apples with the marker. Mix up the apples and ask children to thread it in increasing or decreasing order. It will be a group activity. You have to divide students in five for groups depending upon the uh, strength of your class. And this will be a challenge activity. Activity number three, build the tower. How to execute this activity? It will be a group activity. Provide number cards to students. And teacher will ask students to put all the number cards in ascending or descending order. Then build tower with blocks to match. The step teaching methodology to deliver this um, topic. Here is my teaching methodology. In addition to lecture method, teacher will use the discussion and demonstration method to create learning easy and understandable for the students. Activity based learning will be done. Implementation of your lesson plan, how to implement this topic in your classroom. First stage, as I told you, warm up. Board activity will be done in warm up stage and it will take 10 minutes. Second stage, prior knowledge. With the help of warm up board activity, teacher will uncover students prior knowledge and connect new learning to prior understanding. Further, to check students' prior knowledge, teacher will also ask questions regarding order number. Third stage, introduction to a new lesson. How teacher will introduce the topic of ascending and descending order to students. Teacher will use audio visual aid to start this topic. The children will be explained through cartoon video. And I also mentioned the link of the video. Then instruction procedure. Afterward, teacher will explain the concept of ascending and descending order through demonstration method by using real life practical example. And the example is, teacher selects some students of different height and let them stand with the number card from tallest to shortest height and greatest to lowest number. Then explain the concept of ascending and descending order. Cooperative learning and hands-on activity task will be done. The activities which I mentioned earlier, copy and book work will be done. During the activities, teacher will use different vocabularies and sentences like thread, build, 
up to down, increasing, decreasing, thread the apples in ascending order, build the tower, order the numbers up to down, down to up. Now the wrap up. The attached worksheets are designed to take students follow up either they comprehend the topic well or not. These are the related worksheets you can design by your own or take it from other resources. In homework, you can give workbook pages and related worksheets. But uh, what, whatever you give, but remember, it should be useful and interesting for students. Last is assessment. At the end of the topic, teacher will conduct a summative assessment. Teacher will take assessment in the form of quiz session and observe the participation and understanding of the students. Here is my lesson plan format. You can design it by yourself. And while designing your own lesson plan format, keep in mind these steps. Because I think an effective lesson plan must have these elements. Hope my video will help you in making your lesson plan. Do subscribe my channel. Allah Hafiz.